Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Drifting Dreamers 5. I'm Mike, and today we're getting back to work. It's back to the basics and back to the grind. I'm leaving Dreamers Landing now, walking down the road, headed on up to Uncle Come On with the Come On. I'm going to be helping putting on some doors. We're going to be finishing up some insulation, I think, and then putting... Ow, Ryder! Hey, man, that was really mean. I was going to let you be on camera, Ryder. Guys, right, I don't know if I caught that, but Ryder just jumped all the way up on me, like to my chest, on my chest and clawed the tar out of me. Ryder, I'm going to work, bud. I don't know if that was your way of telling me to get to work or not, but that was kind of messed up, especially since we just came down there from the house and I saved you from getting eaten from Halo and Odin, or by Halo and Odin. I don't know about you guys, but I think that was crazy. I don't know if Ryder was just trying to tell me to tighten up, or if he was telling me, hey, I want you to love on me. But I know Halo and Odin were barking and barking and trying to get at him, and luckily they were on the chain, because if they would have just been in the yard, it had chased Ryder up a tree. About to get to it, guys. About to get to it. Okay, here we go. And now you're laying around. Go figure. Check it out, guys. We got a door right here. I'm pretty sure we got another door over there. We got some corrugated, I think it's corrugated PVC that we're gonna be using for the ceiling, I believe. A ton more insulation. Oh yeah, there she is. And there's that other door right there. Let's find out what the day has in store for us. Well guys, I was gonna get right to it. I was about to get into the grinding mode, but not only is Ryder hanging out with us, guys, we got a special, special thing for you. There's Midnight. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about Midnight. Uh, you haven't been seeing Midnight in any of the videos here lately. You guys know that Midnight isn't very sociable anyway, but there she is. Hello, dear. And I'm gone. Oh. Generator's fired up. Let's get to work. Let there be light. Now let's clean up a bit because we need to clean up before we get to work. A clean workspace is a safe workspace. I still haven't had a chance to use my cordless skill saw yet. Let's go ahead and get the blade on that and see what it's about. Even has a handy dandy Allen wrench to take it off. Full disclosure guys, I just spent 10 minutes looking for an Allen key, came back just to find out this one had it. And then I couldn't take it off. Uncle David had to show me how to take it off. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a little bit of progress done. We got the first door up. And it's looking good. Looking real good. 
had a little battery mishap moment but we are in there like swimwear but guys Lissa called and we got a flat tire so we're gonna go ahead and hop in a Jeep I got the air compressor we're gonna go down here and air it up and get her taken care of probably send her to the tire man because you know we know him by first name unfortunately Whew. haven't driven the old Jeep in a while just like I remember her rolling good rolling good it's nice to be able to drive without having to have the windows down also Woo -wee. that's a sad tire guys that's gonna be a sad tire right there go ahead and get her aired back up and hopefully she can make it back to the tire place all right we got the air compressor I got the line ran up out here I've already put some air in it guys and I can hear the air coming out right here you might be able to hear it you see it it's right here I don't see a nail or anything in it. But there's gotta be something, right? I don't know, guys. It's pretty bad, though. Bad enough to where it went flat overnight. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and get Lissa all packed up. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be doing some laundry today anyway, running a few errands, getting topped up on things, getting a new tire. And then when all that's done, she'll pick up the kids from the 41.36, head on back to the house. Let's have some lunch, guys. All right, y'all, lunch is over. Got a little snack a pack back up here on the mountain let's get back to work so what I'm doing is I'm pulling the nails out of these boards so that we can reuse them for on top of the door jam we want to be able to try to repurpose and reuse whatever wood we can. No need to use a brand new board for something we can already repurpose. We're going to be putting that right above here to go ahead and give it some more stability. Let's rock and roll.
Second door is on. Good morning, Ryder. Good morning, Ryder. Good morning. Well, guys, good morning. Welcome back. As you guys seen yesterday, we had to make some adjustments. We did get the doors finished over here for the tiny house. But this morning, Uncle David is over there grabbing Uber. And we are gonna be on the mill, guys. I haven't had a chance to mill in quite some time, but I am ready to get going. Let's do it. So before we can get started on the mill, we do gotta go ahead and take the bucket off of Uber, get that claw on so we can grab some logs, guys. At least it's not too hot today. It's always a plus.
Okay guys, we got our log cut on both sides. Nice and flat all the way down. I sure do love the way a fresh log looks when it's cut. So now since we got it flat on both ends, I'm gonna go ahead and take it and roll it up on its side. There is a little bit of bow in this one. So I'm gonna put the bow in the air. Hopefully I'll be able to maximize how much wood I get out of this cut, but well, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Here we go. We got it up. We got it clamped in. It's looking pretty good all the way down. You can, I don't know if you guys can see how what I mean, how it kind of curves bananas a little bit right there, but let's get her crunk up. Let's do it. I've already said, let's do it, Ryder. I'm getting to work. I'm walk the plank, just walk the plank. Better get off my log, Ryder. Better get off the log.
right, guys, good morning. We're back at it already today. He ain't back at nothing. Man, just got here and it feels like it's already 95 degrees. But that's okay. Once we start to work up a sweat, we'll be ready to get into it. As you guys seen yesterday, sawmill took a crap on us. But at least this time we know what it is and we'll be able to address it quickly. But we can't let that deter us because Uncle David had an idea. He's got a plan. Let's see what he's got in mind. Yards open. <laughs> well, the plan is is to not have a plan and all that. And basically what I'm going to do is just burn it all down. I'm over it. I'm over it. Now what we're gonna do is, being that Mike broke my sawmill, <laughs> I actually asked him yesterday morning, hey, would you like me to sawmill? And he's like, no, no. And then he broke my sawmill. <laughs> I was like, if you didn't want to do it, you could've just let me do it. <laughs> but basically we're regrouping and we're gonna do drywall everywhere. Unfortunately, I hate drywall, I hate painting, and I hate mudding. So I get to do all three of them now that Mike broke my sawmill. Yes. Did I mention that Mike broke my sawmill? I don't think so. Basically, he broke my sawmill. Come on. <laughs> Okay guys, up next right here is this wall. It's the only wall that's not 100% insulated in. We're gonna go ahead, cut our insulation, get her in there and get her insulated. We got our insulation right here. Good old rock wool. You know, it comes into little sections like so. We're gonna throw it up on the saw horse, get a good measurement, get to cutting it guys. Let's get to cutting it. Okay guys, so I've already went inside and measured it out. Our number is going to be 16 and a half. We're going to get these cut up into blocks and insulate that wall. Seventy-six and a half is our number. If you could remember that for me, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Well, guys, I just did some math because I left my phone in there, so no calculator. Each of them is fifteen and a quarter high. So that, to be able to get our number, we're gonna need five pieces on each side. One, two, three, four, five. We got six, so we only need four more to do both those walls. And I know. 
know everybody has been seeing me flip them. The reason that I've been flipping them as I turn them is so that I can cut off a factory edge and it'll give me one good solid seam and the other side might be a little cut up. Like so. I've already cut this edge, so this is no longer a factory straight edge. I'm gonna flip it or I could have just measured from the other side. That way we still got a nice clean cut edge. I have no idea if I'm in the shot or not, so I'm bending down, 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 down. Eighty-nine and three quarters long. Right side thirty-eight and a half high. Left side thirty-three and five eighths. Got one piece up, time to pull out two more, cut out a plug. It's getting hot guys, but we gotta keep on keeping on. What I'm doing right there guys is I'm using the edge of the knife to scrape down the side of the board take any kind of burrs or piece that are wobbly out a little bit trying to make a straight edge next up we're gonna be marking out our area for our plug cutting the hole for the plug Twenty and a half off Twenty and a quarter up. Twenty and a 
That should be our bottom corner. I'm gonna double check that measure. Okay, here we go. Back to it. We're working pretty good today. Found a fairly good groove. Sounds like the generator is about to die. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and address that. And set us up. Let's cut another piece, guys. I'll say this much. We started work over here earlier this morning because the shade was over here. Now it's the sun over here. Third time's a charm. Wrapping up for today, guys. We got a pretty good amount of drywall in. We're already over here on this end wall. We got the whole entire bed area drywalled in. We got some pieces on the ceiling already, too. As you've already seen, it's already to the door. We're ready to keep getting it, guys. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. And remember, if you can dream it, you can drift it.